Guys, check it out. We have a box. Let's, I wonder what's inside the box. Let's just open it and find out. I know someone said I sounded like that. Fuck it. God damn it. I know someone's... <laughs> Someone said I sounded like that guy from Unbox Therapy. Uh, I appreciate uh, the comparison, but I don't. I just don't hear it. I'm sorry. Anyway, here's what's in the box, guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh, God, I'm so congested. I'm sorry. What, did you guys think this was photo gear? Or did you think I was sponsored or something? <laughs> oh, man, you'd be... Wrong twice. Today's Coheed and Cambria Day. The new album came out, and I got it on vinyl. I'm so excited to listen to this, guys. Life has meaning again. All right, sorry about that diversion. I was just really excited. How's it going, sweet crew? It's your boy, Sweet Lou here. Is uh, is that nickname helping to foster community growth? And also, here's an advanced apology for me. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so my voice is probably gonna be more annoying than normal in this video. Recently, Self made comments and on one of my videos asking me to do a tutorial on how I use Lightroom to color grade my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Cinema DNG files. What a what a mouthful. That's a lot to say, and I used acronyms in my script. It sounds ridiculous out loud. I'm not changing it. As I've said in the past on this channel, ask, and you might receive. And before you comment, Lou, just use Resolve. It's easier, and it's made by Black Magic. Uh, no. I actually love Lightroom, and all my presets and crap are in there. And also, I mean, you saw the title of this video, you know what's good. First off, we're gonna need our Cinema DNG footage, so go out and shoot some cool stuff, guys. I'm, I'm gonna use the footage I used from the Black Magic Pocket Cinema review. Now, after you've shot, everything will be lined up neatly into folders. The WAV file is the audio from the clip, and the rest of the DNGs is your video footage. I know, the first time I opened this folder and saw all these, I had a mini panic attack too, but it's just a series of photos that are later gonna be stitched back together to make your video. So anyway, let's hop into Lightroom. What we're gonna to do is import all the DNGs from our clip folder. This might take a second because, I mean, you know Adobe, they're just constantly working to make Lightroom a little bit slower with every update. Once your DNGs are loaded up, hop into the develop tab and do your bidding. For this step, you can do whatever you want. You can manually color correct, you can use your presets. I'm actually slapping one of Chris Howe's presets on here. Not sponsored. And just do you here, the world is your oyster. Once you're happy with your color, hop back over to the library tab. Now you're going to select all of your DNGs. Keep in mind if you did the drag and drop import, you should be on the previous import section of your library, meaning it's just the DNGs you just brought in, and you could just hit Control A or Command A to select all of them. Now we're going to go down to the lower right hand corner of the screen and smash the sync settings button. And hey, if you're having fun with me right now, why don't you also smash that subscribe button? Uh-huh, yeah. Anyway, make sure everything you've modified is selected on the screen and click OK. Then we're gonna let Lightroom do its thing. This could take a while depending on how big the clip is. Also, you want to keep in mind that this works best when your lighting is steady, meaning if you're moving through rooms and the light is changing, or if you're outside and the clouds are moving a ton, the Lightroom preset might not apply as beautifully across the board to all the different lighting situations. So keep an eye on that. You can always find a section where things get too bright or too dark, fix the first one, and then sync the settings on the remaining photos in that area where the light changed. Once you're happy with that sync, select everything again with Command A or Control A and export the photo. Now typically I'll export them into a particular folder so that I maintain just just some sort of organization. Make sure in the export dialog box you set the file names to custom name dash sequence. Once the export is done you should have a folder of files that look something like this. Now I just named the first file 1 so it would be 1-1, 1-2, 1-3 and so on. Awesome. All right, so let's get out of Lightroom now and hop into Premiere. In Premiere, we're going to go to Import, go to our beautiful folder, select the first file. Then we're going to make sure Image Sequence is checked off on the bottom, then hit Import. Premiere will stitch all these pictures together upon Import and give you a single video file. How convenient. Now all we have to do is drop in the WAV file for our audio, and there we go, a beautifully color graded sequence using Lightroom. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like and subscribe and all that shit. I'll be here close to the close to the same time next week all right bye guys and also here's an advantage of all right guys sorry about the diversion i was just really excited about that how's it going sweet crew it's your boy sweet crew you want to do this with this fuck keep in mind that if you 
keep in mind that if you just 